Welcome to The Witcher 3. Today we're focusing on a bunch of different ways to get Geridium plates. Now most of you are probably familiar with uh, looting after a battle, searching treasure chests, so we're going to focus on the other stuff like purchasing it, dismantling items, and crafting. Let's start with purchasing. This spot right here is in the main island of Skellige up in the mountains. Now the catch is we need to be there about around nine o'clock. And why is that? Well, there is this traveling merchant who appears there. We gotta talk to him near the near the signpost, near the campfire. However, once we talk to him and we look through his inventory, we will notice that it is available for purchase. It costs over a thousand, but uh, it is available. One way to get this metal is to go to an armorer, or I think a blacksmith will do it as well. What you're going to do is talk to them, first off, and then uh, there's a number of different options you have. I think either one works, so we're just going to select the first one right there. Now, Show after they get a little stock. conversation out of the way, what we're looking for is going to be on the far right. We're going to use the, either the left button or the right button. I'm going to use the right button to just show uh, how we have to get there. We're looking for this thing called Dismantle. It should be right there. Now, if you look at the right side of the screen, it shows what these items can be dismantled to. This one doesn't have it. This one right here does. It's the second item down below. Right there. This one does not have it. This sword uh, has it. Uh, second item down below. Does not have it. This one does not have it. And uh, this one right here has it as the second item. So anyway, you get the point there. This can you just need to find stuff that can be dismantled into it. Another way one can do it is to go to the crafting section. We're going to take the L1 or the left button and move over three to where it says crafting right there. And we are looking for the third one down crafting component. And we're going to go all the way down until we find it. Okay, so there's plates, there's ore, and ingots. Uh, we are looking at the ore. That can be crafted from something else. Uh, if you'd use the right analog stick, well, actually, I think it's just the left analog stick or the left control pad, you'll notice there's a dark steel and there's meteorite silver. Those are two components. Those components can be crafted separately and then crafted in to that. Now, of course, if the armorer has it, it will show that it's available to buy, which it doesn't in this point. So dark steel, if you go down to dark steel, we have the crafting components for that. If you look right there, we have the dark iron ore and the steel ingot. So we could craft some of those and we could even buy more components if you'll Notice uh, right there it says we can buy three of them if we wanted to. Okay, so the other component of that, of course, was the meteorite silver. So we're going to see if we can find the meteorite silver down here. And there's the meteorite silver right there. So that is made up of different components. If you have a meteorite ingot and a silver ingot, you can craft from there. In this case, we can. So we can craft that multiple times. So we have that component. Now we would just need to craft the other one. I'm going to go back up top there. Uh, dark steel, I believe. Go ahead and hit craft item. And now, if we go back to this ore, we can craft it because we can, well, let's see if we can craft two of them here. Let's craft one more dark steel. Well, actually, there's two different ways to craft this. Uh, yeah, so this one's got 
yeah. So there's basically two different ways to craft on this one here. Or two different components, depending on what you have. So there's a lot of different ways to do it. We're going to go ahead, now we can craft this ore. Right here, we'll go ahead and press A, craft item. And then press A again. And we're able to craft uh, two ores uh, right there. And that allows us to make uh, more ingots. We can craft that. And then once we have that in place, we can, of course, craft the plates. We need two of those ingots to craft one plate. We go ahead and press A, craft item, and uh, we have it crafted right there. So, in short, there's a bunch of different ways to get Teridium plates, depending on how one wants to go about it. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching, and good luck.